Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be introduction to design patterns and in this video I'm going to explain what are design patterns and why it is important that you learn and understand different design patterns as well as how they can help you in your career. I'm going to explain what are different types of design patterns and then in the following videos I will teach you about each individual design pattern and I'm going to give you practical examples so that you know how to implement each design pattern and when to use it. So here on my YouTube channel I teach you different programming concepts in these short YouTube videos but if your goal is to really master practical programming so that you can start a career and get a job as a software developer I can help you to achieve that goal as well. I have combined over 12 years of my academic experience and also work on many different projects and I have created Code Beauty Academy which is a learning platform that is designed to teach you career ready skills through a practical program that you can complete in just a few months. It has over 200 video lessons covering everything that you need in order to get a job. You will work on real projects with other developers and step by step I will take you from beginner to expert. Majority of students who join the academy get their first job even before completing the entire program and you can try it out for free for 7 days to see if you like it or not. I'm going to leave more details on the link in the description and I will also include a special discount code that you can use in order to save some money. So now let's jump onto the topic of this video and let's explain what are design patterns. The shortest definition is that design patterns are reusable solutions to common programming problems. So this means that these solutions have been tried and tested on many different projects by very experienced developers and they have proven to be the best solutions for those problems time and time again. So let me give you a real life example for this. Let's say that you start working as an intern as a junior developer for some company. So in the beginning you will probably get a mentor, someone who is more experienced, who is a senior developer that can help you in that learning journey. And if you are lucky you will get someone like myself, someone who is also willing to help you and to explain things and make that learning journey easier for you. So when you get some problem to solve, if you are on your own, you can definitely come up with a solution for that problem depending on how difficult the problem is. But for more complex problems, for problems that are harder, if you try to come up with your own solution, chances are that your solution is going to have some limitations and it is not going to be the most optimal and the best solution for that problem. So that is exactly where design patterns come in to help and if you have someone who is experienced and someone to help you, that person is going to teach you these best and most optimal solutions for common programming problems. And when I say common programming problems, I really mean most programming problems because majority of programming problems have already been solved. There is already the most optimal recommended solution for majority of programming problems and that recommended solution has been tried and tested a million different times on a million different projects and it has proven to work in all of those situations. So a better way for you to use your time is to learn those best practices and to learn those design patterns instead of trying to reinvent the wheel and trying to come up with your own solutions for those common programming problems. There are problems like this in real life as well. So for some problems in real life we already have the most optimal tools to solve that specific problem. So let's say for example that you want to hammer a nail into a wall. There are different ways to solve that problem. One approach would be to take a nail and then take your glasses case and try to do that with your glasses case. I guess that could work once or twice but after a couple of times your glasses case is going to break. So for solving that problem we already have a tool which is called hammer. So instead of you trying to come up with your own solutions and your own ways to solve that problem it would be much more beneficial just to learn how to use a hammer and it is the same in programming. We have design patterns which are recommended solutions, the most optimal ways to solve common programming 
problems because they have been tried and tested over a long period of time on a million different projects by really experienced developers. So a good use of your time is to learn those best practices and to learn those design patterns and not try to reinvent the wheel yourself. So now that you know what design patterns are, you can probably already understand why it is important to learn them. Because by using design patterns, your code is going to be easier to maintain, it is going to be easier to add new features, more flexible, bug-free, it is going to be easier to read and understand, and so on. So using these design patterns and understanding them is actually what makes a difference between someone who is programming expert and someone who just knows how to write code. So the same way you have an architect who knows how to build a small residential home, and then you have an architect who knows how to build Burj Khalifa. So both of them are architects, but they are really different levels of architects. One is truly an expert, a master, and then another is just basic average architect. So it is the same with programming. So once you learn these design patterns, you will become more valuable on the job market and your salary is going to be higher, you will have higher job security, and you will be able to pick and choose on which projects you want to work and which you don't want to work on. So now that you understand what design patterns are and why it is important to learn them, now I'm going to teach you about three main categories of design patterns. And please don't worry if you don't understand these immediately because these are some of the most complex and the most advanced topics in programming. So in the upcoming videos, I'm going to explain each design pattern in a separate video. So then you will get a better idea of what each design pattern does, what it means, when to use it, how to implement it, practical examples, and so on. So three main categories of design patterns are creational, behavioral, and structural. Creational design patterns, as the word itself says, are focused on the creation of objects, which means that they help us with the creation of objects without the need to duplicate the code, so they are keeping the code maintainable and flexible. And here on the screen, you can see examples of different creational design patterns. So in the next video, we are going to talk about singleton design patterns. So for example, then you are going to see example of when to use singleton design pattern, why it is important, what kind of problem it solves, and I will teach you how to implement it and show you practical examples. So then you will understand better what what I mean by creational design patterns, to be more specific, by singleton design pattern. And then in the next videos, we are going to cover other design patterns as well. The second category are behavioral design patterns, and they solve the problems of communication between different objects. So for example, if you have one part, one component in your application that needs to send a notification to another part, to another component in your application, in that situation, you can use different behavioral design patterns in order to solve those types of problems. Or for example, for problems that are related to delegation, which means means that instead of having one object doing all of the work, what you can do is you can distribute that work across multiple different objects with the help of behavioral design patterns. And by doing that, you are going to make your code flexible, easier to maintain, and more optimized. Here on the screen, you can see examples of different behavioral design patterns. And as soon as I finish filming this video, I'm going to film a video about observer design pattern, which is behavioral design pattern. So I will link that video here and also in the description. So if you want to see an example, then you can watch that video and you can see how we can make the communication between different components in our application, how we can make that communication easy with the help of observer design pattern. Third category are structural design patterns, and they focus on how classes and objects are structured in order to form more complex systems. So that means as your application grows, as your application becomes bigger and more complex, it is very important to take care about the structure of that application so that it is still maintainable, it is still easy to add new features, and so that it is bug free. And I cannot even tell you how many times I have heard something like this. 
this application is impossible to maintain so we should just delete everything and start all over again so as your application grows it becomes exponentially harder to maintain and harder to add new features fix bugs and keep your code optimized but following these design patterns, structural, behavioral, and creational design patterns is actually what is going to keep your code bug-free, what is going to keep your application optimized, flexible, and easy to scale. So here on the screen, you can see most common structural design patterns, and we are going to talk about these in separate videos. So I hope that this video helped you to understand what are design patterns and why it is important to learn them. And as I already said, in the upcoming videos, we are going to talk about individual design patterns. I'm going to teach you when to use each individual design pattern, how to implement it. I will show you what are its benefits and practical examples. Hey there, if your goal is to learn programming and start a successful career, build interesting and useful applications, and if you enjoy learning from my YouTube videos, then you should definitely enroll in my practical programming course. I will take you from beginner to expert in just a few months, and I will give you all of the support and help that you need to achieve your goals. In the course, you will work on realistic projects. You will get access to a large community of successful developers, and everything that you need to learn will be on one place. You just need to follow the plan that I have created for you. And those of you who finish the course successfully will get a special certificate that is going to open a lot of job opportunities for you. In the description, you can find a coupon code to save some money. And if you're not sure if this course is for you or not, we have seven day money back guarantee, which means that if you don't like it for any reason, you will get all of your money back. No questions asked. So now, instead of coming up with excuses, use this opportunity to finally learn programming and transform your life because you really have nothing to lose and a lot to gain. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the topic of this video or about Code Beauty Academy and my practical programming course, feel free to leave those in the comment section and I'm going to reply to them. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this one in the future, give it a big thumbs up so that I know to create videos about individual design patterns in the future. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.